And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jarvan Lucian. This is going to be a rally deck, so we're going to be attacking um, a lot. That's that's going to be the goal of our deck, attack quite a bit. Because um, of course, if we have a leveled up Lucian, then whenever we have an ally die, we get to rally. And we're going to be playing rally cards with Relentless Pursuit, three copies, two Golden Ages. And then even Jarvan, whenever we have a leveled up Jarvan, it's going to create the Cataclysms in hand that allow us to get some free attacks um, each time. And the reason why we want we want to have all these cards that attack all the time is because we're going to have that with Kyrian Sumpworker. So Kyrian Sumpworker plus Iterative Improvement to be able to make more Sumpworkers. So that we can have the Sumpworks Posse that has that awesome attack ability and hopefully... Um, have that and then attack quite a bit. <laughs> so that's that's kind of the goal. You know, it's a it's a big elusive attacker. Whoops, it's a big elusive attacker that you know finishes that nexus out pretty quickly, and hopefully that with multiple attacks can get a lot of work done. So that's kind of what our deck's all about. We have some different challengers as well to help level up Jarvan, Screeching Dragon, Laurent Protege. They'd also just do a really good job of um, just controlling the board. Challengers are also very good with Relentless Pursuit. We have Bright Seal Protector that can um, do a good job of protecting our challengers. Or also, if they have like an elusive that would be able to block the Sump Worker, we can put the barrier on the Sump Worker to make sure it, it can attack and stay alive. Or if we're worried about like a Sharp Sight or something like that. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to have Single Combats for interaction. Single Combat, of course, is amazing with Senna, where you, you can have Senna kill something you know that's good-sized and level up Lucian on the spot. Um, but yeah, that's that's our deck. Couple of King Jarvins at the top end to be able to find our Jarvins and just for some extra power. And a good Demacia, um, you know, mid-range challenger, rally deck, attacking a lot with this cool little combo in there. So let's see how it does. We're gonna go play our five games in ranked with Jarvin Lucian. Okay, we got Draven Ezreal to start with. So Draven Ezreal is a deck that has lots and lots of removal. So rally effects aren't as... Um, like, they're they're not as valuable because we just need lots of threats here, right? Because if we just have, like, a couple of threats and then all rallies and they just kill our threats, then the rallies aren't going to do anything. I'm going to mulligan those and I guess we'll mulligan Jarvan. I kind of want to keep Jarvan because Jarvan's a very good threat, but it is a six-mana card. Hey, we got a, a new sub, second month now for Chow, Chow Lewis. Welcome, welcome. Have a nice Sunday. Thank you so much. Hope you're having a good Sunday. All right, so that's our second sub of the day. I'm just going to pass here. I like to play Lucian, but they're definitely going to kill the Lucian immediately if I play it. Awesome. Now we have Sharp Sight for protection. Making the dead and dead. Sharp sight? Actually, I kind of want to just single combat and kill the Draven, but also kind of want an iterative improvement. I think we'll go on sharp sight. I want the Senna in play with Lucian, right? Like, that's always good to have those two in play. Because then even if they kill the Lucian immediately, then our Senna turns into the... Oh, man. man this Draven has real deck. <laughs> I guess there's that. Man, I guess that's a thing. We got a pressure of the life total. Hey, Jensong.
So round three, Draven plus Mystic Shot plus Ravenous Flock. Round four, Rummage Away, two Spinning Axes to draw two, plus Culling Strike. Our, our opponents these last few days have had no chill. I feel like if I go Bright Seal Protector on the Screeching Dragon that they would have Arachnoid Sentry and stun it. Flock's a good card. Now we're cooking. Yeah, our opponent's hand is insane, isn't it? The story of the last the last week, every single every single game. I don't know. I I don't usually compl like complain like this. It's just we're we're just uh. How will my people remember me? We're running into like one of those like one of those weeks. too much. Screeching Dragons are pretty good. Let's get some more. I like this Iterative Improvement Screeching Dragon. Yeah, the there you go. Hope Zen put the link. If you go there on the Mobile Edix profile, you can find the link to the Vlad Z deck that I'll be playing up after this. Farron. My shield is yours. It already have improvement on their Captain Farron's not bad. Probably be attacking right there. Because they know about the Jarvan in hand. Oh, I should have improved it first. I should have improved it first. I was thinking they would, they would play something and then I would respond, you know, and just have the decision, but they didn't play anything. Of course. Improvement on King Jarvan also not bad. They still have a lot of cards over there. must endure. Saved improvement for that, maybe? So if Jarvan costs six mana next round, because I don't, I won't have the mana to play both Screeching Dragon and Jarvan. Even though I feel like that's maybe my best play, because like 
improvement, like this isn't really a great matchup for the improvement on the Sump Worker, because then it, you know, obliterates this one. And then it's just a two health thing where they, they can easily kill. This spell right, this card right here is a spell that costs three or less. So I, that's, I'm thinking that this is something that could kill, like the Sump Worker and stuff like that. I think I'm going to simply save this. Or get another Screeching Dragon? I think I'm going to save it. And probably, probably use this. I think I want this for King Jarvan. Again, just for the, the card advantage. Drawing another Jarvan. Well, now... Now let's go. Okay. Is that was, was that the card they just drew? Yeah. Or no, this would this would have been their card in hand. See, I thought it was something that cost three or less. We'll have leveled up Jarvan. With me. Soldiers of Demacia. Stand with me. Ours is but to do and die. And unfortunately with Cataclysm, you have to challenge an enemy. Or like we can't just use Cataclysm to have some Works bossy just attack him and not challenge. All right, there we go. That was a sweet game. That's a really good deck with Draven Ezreal with a very good hand. They didn't have Ezreal, but they had everything else. Thresh Nessus. Okay, so Mulligan, Mulligan. We'll keep these two. All right, love it. Lucian Senna combo. Really hope no Black Spears over there. But I guess they, they have Black Spears, Merciless Hunters, and Thrash. All those can kill Lucian. So they got a lot of things. Push back the darkness. We're gonna be attacking. Why would this be last? Okay, I like that. Uh, let's go with the tracker first. And just pass. I guess we just pass then as well. Yeah, that. Okay, well, I have never. I've I've played against Thresh Nasus like four hundred times now, and I've never seen Ruination in their deck.
yeah, they they completely yeah, that was something I obviously didn't play around whatsoever. And we're just gonna draw ones and twos, I guess. Yeah, that's that's a that was a great card for them. That was, that was a great card. Yeah, that I that blew me out pretty bad. I really want to draw Jarvin. Jarvin can challenge the Thresh. <clears throat> so I'm really hoping to draw. No. <laughs> Sorry, my dog's too excited. Scratch my chair. I talked about last game how the the dragons were amazing and King Jarvan was amazing finding Jarvins. That game we didn't draw a single card over three mana. So I just didn't have the power at the top end, especially like you know after that ruination. Like we're not going to win with just two and three mana units. Don't know if it's the same opponent or not. It's the same matchup. I don't know if I'm going to have to worry about. I kind of want to keep the Screeching Dragon, because we saw there that last game, like, we got to have some power at the top end, but... Yeah, maybe we just won't have the early game, we'll get ran over. I don't know if I have to worry about Ruination again. That was really rough. Okay, turn always says not the same opponent. So, of course, I'm worried about Merciless Hunter, but I do have the Bright Steel... Protector that can protect against Merciless Hunter. But I guess. I guess it doesn't make sense to be worried about Merciless Hunter, does it? Because I just do this. And it just. We obliterate that one anyway, so there's no. Yeah. There's no vulnerable. So no need to be worried. I could play Senna first. But Senna opens me up to Black Spear. They're going to be open attacking. That did not work out. Merciless, Merciless Hunter is a hell of a card. Still at eight. They only have two cards in hand. The air betrays you, child. Awesome. <laughs> 
unfortunately I got more cards. The Emperor commands the land obeys. Let's attack again. Ooh, good. <laughs> it wasn't... Well, I mean, that's not good because they just keep on getting more and more cards. So that's not good, but it wasn't Black Spear. Right, Black Spear is the card they got to be really worried about. Good job, Disgruntled Gruntles. I just beat Thresh Nasus with Riven Lucian. Alright, Barrier. Fight for your king. Judgment awaits. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think it would level up Nasus. No quarter. All right, so we can Well, we can open attack. I think it's better to play these other cards. Cause like I'm losing to atrocity either way. So better to play these before attacking. Siphoning Strike. Oh, yeah. Siphoning Strike. Yeah, I, I didn't think about Siphoning Strike. Okay, yeah. Open plays around Siphoning Strike. Okay. Providence, guide me. So it is. Well, that's life. We're never lucky. Never ever lucky. Prepare for tomorrow. Thanks, JJ. Yeah, at least JJ says I've been the most unlucky player that they've ever seen. Good. It's not just me thinking that. Um, tough matchup. I, I hate playing against Shivana really and Soul. This is this is definitely the deck that I always ban. Um, yeah, this is going to be a really tough matchup because they they just go bigger than us. They have a better late game. They have Nexus Healing. This is not going to end well, I don't think. Seal Palette's always good to have. I'd rather play against any other deck than this one with a smaller Demacia deck. So I can't play the Sump Worker there be because of the 3 2 Challenger. You know, obviously I don't get to Stumpworks Posse here. All right. But because of the dragon card, this is the 3-2 challenger for two mana. Like if I play the Sump Worker, they play that card. That's very bad for me, so I, I couldn't play it. They are nothing. I kind of feel like this is not a bad trade, right? Like, Shivana's is a champion for a reason. I guess we force them to have Sharp Sight also. No, because if I if I block in Sharp Sight, they could hush, and then they hush, and then that's really bad. This is this is a bad posse matchup with both sharp side and hush. Okay, fighting there. I think we fight back. This feels like a hush. No. Interesting. Don't get in my way. This fight is over.
I don't really even know why I'm challenging that. Yeah, I don't even know if that's a good challenge. I mean, I guess they can't, you know, hush and block or anything like that. But, all right, there we go. Okay, good win. Good win. Their hand wasn't great. Right, no sharp sight, no hush. That kind of stuff. And, you know, they also had a slower hand. So their hand wasn't great. So we finally, we finally ran into an opponent that didn't have an amazing hand. Yeah, I'm talking about for Gauntlet. Yeah, when I was talking about the band deck, I was talking about for Gauntlet and uh, Seasonal Tournament, that kind of stuff. All right, Megatron, what do you got? Draven Ezreal, ooh, a great deck. King Jarvan, very important. Maybe we keep Sumpworker. Sumpworker just eats a removal spell. It's two mana to eat a removal spell. It's not bad. Protector's kind of for later. Because, you know, it probably gets Mystic Shot, but that trades two for two. And that, that's one less Mystic Shot for other stuff. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have kept the seven drop. This is a really good seven drop, though. It's difficult to kill. It gives me card advantage. I right, like this should be a slower matchup. My, I was definitely plan. I was planning on just playing the sump worker out on round two, and, and you know, seeing if they have a mystic shot or maybe they'd play like three mana on a thermogenic beam. That would have been the best for the sump worker. But after drawing the sharp sight, I want to have protege with sharp sight. Don't know exactly how this could go wrong. Draven's so perfect with the, for this deck. These spinning axes. Would love to see, you know, like an Ezreal type hand instead of a Draven hand. Alright, I like that. That just gets another Draven out of their hand. Of course, puts it back in the deck, they could draw it, but... That hopefully means no Draven next round. Obviously, they get all the spinning axes, but... Yeah, two Dravens gone from their hand. I like seeing that. Basically because of this, right? Draven just got a free one mana draw two. Because yeah, it's a difficult follower to kill. It draws a champion and the champion, like Jarvan's a very good champion in this matchup with that barrier, that barrier challenge. It's, it's hard to pass this thing up. Break their spirit and their swords. So I want to see drag dragons. I don't want to keep drawing just like small little units that are easy to kill. We need dragons, we need iterative improvement. So we can copy their Copy our King Jarvan, or copy their Captain Theron. I am superior life form. My shield is yours. I Good morning, Scorpy. Yeah, it doesn't. It still feels pretty spring here. It doesn't feel too summer, like even though it's June. It rained a bunch yesterday. Really rained hard yesterday. Not a good draw. This is not a relentless pursuit matchup. This is a this is a war of attrition. One that I a, a battle of attrition I am not winning right now. I imagine they're, that they're sitting on a bunch of, like, amazing Tribeam and Probulators, which is why they are uh, just throwing away these Arachnoid Sentries. I guess we do it this way. This just makes it easy Ravenous Flock keep the Ballistic Bot alive, and I don't want Ballistic Bot to be alive. Yeah, this deck's been pretty cool so far. We're one atrocity away from being three and one. I I don't feel very good about this game with all those cards in hand. How good of a deck Dra Draven Ezreal is. 
I don't feel very good about this game. Jarvan's leveled up. I guess we've had. I guess these protégés have survived damage four times. Opponent's been playing pretty slow, not only just like time wise, but also just like on the board wise, right? Like they've been very patient. It's like, what are all these cards in hand? Like they got to be like some amazing tri beam and probulators, right? That they're just setting up, that are just gonna destroy me. That's what it feels like. Time for the main event. Keep drawing these relentless pursuits that I don't want. See, I think they were waiting for this, and now they're going to uh, tri-beam my Jarvan. But they have been very patient. You know, they've been waiting on these tri-beams. I still don't feel good about winning this game, <laughs> even though it looks like we're super far ahead on board. It's a lot of mana and a lot of cards over there. And their deck can have... Has so many efficient cards, you know, with all, like, ravenous flocks and everything. They have so many efficient cards. So think about going single combat from here to the Sump Dredger. Keep the Jarvan with the Barrier. Make it more difficult for them to kill my Jarvan. Yeah, the other option was keep Dragon healthy. I don't I don't think I would use it on the Ballistic Bot. Like, I, I don't really like that. I think it's, it's definitely one of these two. The other one is, yeah, we could keep the Dragon with the health so the Dragon doesn't die to Ravenous Flock. We just have all these rally cards, and they're just not great in this matchup. The party has arrived. Juggle for me, Jester, and perhaps I'll spare you. I mean, I might as well play Golden Ages. I'm gonna play it over here. This incentivizes them to, you know, use removal on the protege, which means they'd have less less mana for removal on other stuff. So if, if Draven blocks Jarvan and then they tri-beam Jarvan, how do I win? Relentless pursuits just aren't good. How, like, how do I win from there? I don't know if I do. I don't know if I can. I guess, I guess we just have to do it. Yeah. I, so certainly thinking about not blocking, not having Jarvan attack. Because it's going to get tri-beamed. Rewarded, but still four mana. Kill your kill your six mana champion and get a nine six fury. Like that's that's amazing for for four mana. You get a nine six fury that kills your six mana champion. That's like this probably shouldn't be a card good. Fight for your king. 
I don't want to attack with the 3 2, even though that put Jarvan into play. This is worse against Arachnoid Sentry, but we've seen them already waste a couple of Arachnoid Sentries. You can see how little these Relentless Pursuits have really done, though, which is why I wasn't happy about drawing all these rallies, because this is just, again, like a very removal-heavy matchup. The, the Relentless Pursuits are not good for us. But Tribeam and Probulator looks like it's going to kill us. We got the 9-mana one. Now an 8-mana one. There's a good amount of 10 drops in the game because there's there's the there's like three or four 10 drops that have I think maybe three of them that that have cost reduction depending if certain criteria is uh, is made. I'm what nightmares fear. So there's like you know like the from Targon there's like the Arbiter that like the cost reduction like the, like those kind of cards. Missed your chance to run. Scuttlegeist and Shadow Isles. There's a PN there's a Piltover and Zon one. Like Plaza Guardian, is that the name of it? And Piltover and Zon. So they're not very good ones to hit. Yet again, another Tribeam and Probulator foiling us, because then we we attack with Santa, they just block. Obviously, they're going to Ravenous Flock the Jarvan. I guess I should have held on to the single combat. I guess I should have. I I made it to, like, Ezreal had less health. So, couldn't really block, like, like with my 3-2 still there, but I guess I should have just held on to it. Alright, don't draw your rallies against Raven Ezreal. Just keep drawing threats. That and hope your opponent doesn't have amazing Tribeam and Probulators also. Unfortunately, that's the very, very worst matchup for a Relentless Pursuit. And, and we had, out of these five cards, we drew three of them. And they're just all, you know, worthless. So, that's too bad. The first time, you know, so we won a one in that matchup. You know, the first time we were drawing the iterative improvements, right? Like we drew all three iterative improvements and, and no, like none of these. And, those, and the iterative improvements were amazing. So we were making more of the more screeching dragons that are just difficult to kill and stuff like that. So um, that can be the difference between winning and losing. Like I think that, I think we maybe win that game if all those pursuits and golden ages are just iterative improvements instead. But, you know, drew, drew the wrong cards in the deck. But I liked it. I liked. It. I thought this was a, a pretty cool little deck here. Um, yeah, I think I think that there's a lot of good stuff going on. You know, the, the, just these Demacia cards are pretty good these days. Jarvan looked very good. I was very happy with Jarvan. I liked the King Jarvans quite a bit, drawing them. They looked really good. I honestly wouldn't mind just completely getting rid of Relentless Pursuit and Golden Ages. I know that's like the theme of the deck, though, right? Is is rally with uh, Kyrian Sumpworker. But I've I've always kind of found this is like more of like a a win more type card, right? Like when everything's going right for you, and then you rally, then then it makes things look better. But I I feel like that if these are different cards that help protect our our um our important threats, that, that could be more important. So like if like in in these games, like I, I kind of want like some repose right or you know something like that like some like you know some barriers i think some like repose would, would be better but that's kind of the, the thing is like try rally with the sump worker um but i would i think more comp 
like more competitively getting rid of rally and getting rid of or getting rid of those and, and getting things to protect your Lucian and Sump Worker and Jarvan and Screeching Dragon um, would be better. So I'd kind of recommend like Repost and um, Prismatic Barriers, I think, is, is just really, really underrated. But yeah, pris so Repost, Prismatic Barrier, Concerted Strike, those kind of cards. Even Bannerman. Right, like we're only playing these two P and Z cards, so like this this could definitely be a Vanguard Bannerman deck, which um, would help help the, some of the stuff scale up. And you don't have to like be like really you know so you don't have to be really focused on Bannerman, but maybe even a couple Bannerman. That's another option as well. But uh, I would I would probably want rep Reposts in here. Repost is an awesome card. All right, but there we go. That's Jarvan Lucian. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, leave those comments. I, I, uh, I appreciate those. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.